guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video thank you so much for coming back or if you're new here my name is rachel so we have a very exciting video it is my annual gift guide video and i get so excited for doing these i love looking at gifts for you guys i also have um popped loads more gift guides of things that i don't have to hand or things that are kind of like on my wish list or things that i'll be buying for other people um on my like to know it page um i will leave a link in the description box down below and you can see some of the gift guides that i have got on there i've got home a gift guide for him gift guide for her stocking fillers all different things like that so make sure you go and check that out if you need a little bit more inspiration um but uh, yeah i thought i would do my annual gift guide again this year this is kind of things that i already have in my collection that I think will make a really really good gift um and then I'm going to do another video sharing kind of like my wish list and what I'm going to be asking for or what I would like this year yes let's crack on with the video I've got a cup of tea because I thought I would be super cozy today I feel like I'm quite hot in this jumper I don't know if that was a very good idea but it's a new one that I've got from Joa Brown and I absolutely love the colour um oh that is a good cup of tea This mug always gets featured in every single gift guide. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's start off with jewellery. So I got some new pieces from Monica, Monica Veneda recently. Um, you guys will know that I absolutely love their jewellery. I wear them all the time. Um, but I picked up a few new pieces. In terms of items that I already own, I will show you those because they make such great gifts. I've, all, I've gifted so many people this ring here. Um, so this is the signature band i don't think i think no this is the thin band not the skinny one so this is the signature band i think this one retails at like 80 pounds um it's just a really really nice ring i wear it all the time and don't take it off um it's not tarnished at all but one thing to note with monica veneta if things do tarnish you can take them into store and they'll send them off and get them re like dipped and stuff for you um so i think that's a really really great idea and then my new addition um to my little arm stack here is the signature thin band in gold i absolutely love these i think these retail around 200 pounds so a really really nice luxury jewelry gift if you're looking to get jewelry for someone um i will note that i do know that monica Minida always do a great black friday sale so definitely look out for that what i think i might do is as and when the black friday sales go live i'll kind of update the links and if there's any discount codes or anything down below so you can shop them on black friday if that's what you're looking to do um and then i have my two signature ones which i've had for about a year now i have the diamond one and the gold one and these are the signature skinny so as you can see in terms of thickness they are thinner than the thin one um and i just really really like these for layering i think that yeah they're such a great and special gift and i'm pretty sure i don't think you can on the skinny but on the thin one you can get engraved on the inside so it's a really nice thoughtful gift if that's something you're looking at doing um so i've got those bits and then also monica vanilla jewelry come in all this really really nice packaging so you don't even need to wrap it you can just have it in the little gift bag um, and then i also got a new pair of gold earrings which one of my most asked questions is about gold hoops so i feel like these would make a really really great gift oh i've taken them out of the little pouch but i need to get these in my ear but i wanted to save them for this video so yeah they have a little pouch that the earrings come in oh this is very fitting and then i got two of the huggy gold earrings can you see those it's really hard to show you without dropping so yeah i always like like a smaller hoop um and just ones that i can keep in all the time so these are going to be a great new addition i currently have i think i've got ones on from masoma and then i think these were actually part of my wedding earrings um i had my wedding earrings were like a diamond hoop and then they had a pearl attached and i've just taken the pearl off so I thought that was a really good idea so I can actually rewear my wedding earrings on an everyday basis. Um, so yeah, those were the jewellery bits from Monica Panada. And another great gift, which I actually got gifted to myself for my birthday. Um, I've still got the tag on, but I do use it all the time. As you can see, it's filthy. Is a jewellery travel box. These are great. 
honestly great because usually before I had this my jewelry would get all tangled all lost um so yeah this is great if you know a jewelry one jewelry lover so this is the larger one they do do smaller ones which I'll link down below but you have a section to put um like I sometimes I don't actually know what I put in here I think I sometimes put like bracelets like rolled up in there and then I you can put your necklaces here and they have this little toggle so it makes just makes and you put them oh oh you can I never knew that so you can actually take that out if you don't want the necklace bit you could probably put like watches and things down there as well what a great little idea I actually never knew that that could come out so yeah you have the option to have necklaces here you obviously wrap pop the top bit there and then they go inside there and they don't tangle which is great you can put rings and earrings here watches here does any of that else comes out no just that little box but yeah this is the tope gray color and you can also get quite a few different colors as well um i'm pretty sure this was from john lewis but the brand is actually called stackers um i actually have my jewelry box is from stackers as well which is really great because you can kind of buy like different compartments and like stack them on okay so next i'm going to go on to really really special luxury pieces um so first up i have oh nearly fell out the end a new little edition that i got this week for myself but i feel like this would make a great gift because i feel like christmas time is a really good time to gift people like warmer items because obviously the end of december january february are kind of like the coldest months um so i have a little celine beanie here which i absolutely love i really really struggle with beanies i have one other one which is a beige but it does get saturated in makeup so i really wanted a nice um black one we have actually booked a really special trip for my 30th next year um at the beginning of the year and i need some colder items so yeah leave in the comments if you can guess down below where we are going i'm actually going to quite a few places for my 30th but yeah that is one of them um so i believe this was actually in the men's section um and they do quite a lot of different shapes in celine for beanie so yeah we've got this is the one that I got. It was £270. I feel like this would make an amazing gift if you're looking to get someone like a special beanie. And obviously it's man's, it's unisex. So if you're looking to get this for like your girlfriend, boyfriend, partner, husband, wife. Yeah, I feel like this makes a really, really good gift. And I absolutely love it. I still want to keep it like all nice and fresh. So I'm going to put it back in the tissue paper. And then the next luxury gift again Celine I feel like most of my luxury items are from Celine but I do absolutely love everything from there at the moment and that is a belt I actually got this gifted to me for Christmas last year I have worn it to death so this one is the Celine Triumph belt I actually have no idea what size this is because I tried to work it out with my friend Holly the other day and I told her I had the teen so she went and bought the teen and it the teen is a lot smaller so I don't actually think I feel like this is smaller than the small though but maybe it's the small i'm not sure my mum got me this for christmas so i have no idea what actual size it was um but i just absolutely love it it's a really really great gift and i don't think it's like tarnished or really scratched in any way at all which i think is amazing considering i wear it so much and this is like nearly a year old now um the leather is also really really nice that's like not scratched at all either um so it's a great gift now i think these retail from 320 to 420 depending what size you get so they do teen small excuse me teen small and medium um but yeah it's just that's a really really nice luxury gift to receive i was very happy to receive that last year i also think like if you're i know people do christmas differently like some people you kind of like maybe have like a list and people buy what they want some people ask exactly what they want and then some people just buy everything as a surprise so i feel like belts hats and sunglasses in terms of luxury items are really easy ones to get because i think you can't go wrong i think like clothing items and things like that that's a bit like risky whereas yeah hats scarves and sunglasses are a really really good price to go price a really good item to go for if it's kind of like a surprise and then again celine's like sunglasses these ones you would have seen in my latest haul um but obviously there are other, other brands out there this is not sponsored by celine i just yeah majority own celine luxury items i do have saint Laurent sunglasses as well which i love um which i'll leave linked down below and also balenciaga ones if you want to have a look at those 
um but yeah these are the new celine triumph sunglasses which i love these are pretty hard to get hold of i'm pretty sure the tortoise shell are still on the sunglasses hut um which hopefully may do some um black friday discount um but the black is yeah i can't find it anywhere um but yeah it's really really hard to get hold of so yeah and they also always come really nicely boxed and stuff which i think just makes a perfect gift perfume perfume is a great gift at christmas whether you're buying a top up of a perfume that you know somebody already owns or a new one this is honestly the most stunning fragrance ever i absolutely love it this was my wedding fragrance um I don't know if I just love it so much more now because it was my wedding fragrance and it reminds me of my wedding day. Like when I smell this, like the image that I get in my head is me stood at the hotel in my dress, like spraying myself, like literally ready to go walk down the aisle basically. I just love it. It's a really like soft, I really don't, I'm not really good with explaining fragrances, but I just can't, it's like, soft all like it all that reminds me of is like soft marshmallowy fragrance it's quite a sweet fragrance if you don't like sweet this is definitely not for you oh it's stunning it's honestly great so yeah definitely go and try that out and one thing that is also a good gift in terms of fragrances is you know when you can buy the little mini sets with all the different um scents so if someone like maybe wants to try a brand or you're not sure what they'd like definitely buy the little sets and have those as a gift and then they'll find their favorite and then you can buy them the big bottle next year or the big bottle for the birthday so i always think that's a really really good gift and i love trying all the different smells like i've got quite a few different killian ones that i'm trying at the moment which i got given when i bought this um so yeah i think it's a really really good way and a little nice gift for someone to surprise and also like those little things actually do last a while because with luxury fragrances you literally only need like a couple of sprays and you actually yeah they do last quite a long time so. okay so next up another luxury item is a notebook now i actually received this as well as a gift last year and it was one of my favorite presents because i feel like something like this is something that i wouldn't go and buy for myself but i was so happy to receive it as a gift because this one i think they range between 55 and 65 pounds for the larger one i actually have nearly at the end of this i use it every single day um so i have asked about another one for christmas again um and i just absolutely love it it's such a luxurious notebook to have i love it out on the side this one is from dior they do the exactly the same one now so they do it in this size and then also an a4 size which i have asked for and a few other variations as well it also comes really lovely packaged really lovely packaged in really really nice gift packaging as well as you would expect with dior um but yeah if you have someone that's maybe like uses a notebook a lot is self-employed or yeah just has a notebook to hand like me all the time every single day of the week um i feel like this is a really nice luxury gift of something that they wouldn't buy for themselves like before i was buying myself like 10 pound like pucker pads or whatever they are um but yeah i absolutely love this and like i said this is going to be on my probably christmas list every year now just to get a new fresh one every year because i am where am i i'm here there so i've used the majority of it even as like a really nice like wedding planner gift or yeah just anything like that i just absolutely love it and i'm definitely a notebook user um it has got a few makeup marks on it but yeah i just absolutely love it and i think i might actually like see if if when they do like different ones i might actually keep each notebook and then like have them stacked up and displayed on a shelf because the print is just stunning and then on to kind of like beauty hair things oh <laughs> First up, we have a GHG hairdryer. Now, this is actually a new one that I received recently, and it is the perfect Christmas present. So they have the new range. It's like a champagne range, but um, they have the hairdryer in it, the volume brush, straighteners, and all things like that. I have the hairdryer here. This is actually a gift for my mum because she's in need of a hairdryer. I'm pretty sure she's using like my own. Her one broke, and she's been using my old Babyliss one, which is probably about 10 years old. So poor girl needs an upgrade so this is the one that i got it comes in this stunning like red velvet case which if that doesn't scream christmas then i do know not know what does and then oh my god it's stunning look at that for a hairdryer 
gorge i love ghd products i've actually never used one of their hair dryers before but i have their tongs and straighteners i've tonged my hair with a ghd wand today and i love it they are above all else they are great obviously i do have my dyson air wrap as well but that's for a different look um so yeah i feel like she's gonna love this one absolutely looks gorge makeup brushes now you're gonna laugh because i actually bought these with a voucher that i had last year for christmas and i completely forgot about them until i was like thinking of gift cards ideas and i was like oh my god those makeup brushes i was like where are they i have actually used the only thing i've used from there is the beauty blender which is in my makeup bag but look how pristine they are these are like a year old so yeah they are going to be coming out and i'm going to be using them in full force these are the morph is it morphe morphe cross ariel um brushes and they are stunning just look at the aesthetic of them and i have heard really really good reviews on these as well which is why i bought them in the first place so yeah i feel like they are a stunning gift um for someone that's like a makeup lover or just any girl to be fair or boy um yeah i just absolutely love them i cannot wait till we finally get a house next year and just have these in like a little ceramic dish on my dressing table they're actually too nice that I don't know if I want to use them yet. I don't know if I want to save them. Oh, they just feel stunning. Um, what do we have in here? So it looks like we've got like blusher, bronzer, face, and then eyes all down here. So a great selection. And it did come with a beauty blender here, which I use for powder. It is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I have already stolen that one and use that one every day already. And it comes in this gorgeous little box as well. I wish they did like a makeup brush case though. That's one thing that I wish they did because yeah, that would be even better for me because I'm not gonna keep, once they're out of the box, the box is gonna get zinged, um, but yeah. Okay, so now on to home bits. We've only got a couple of homey things this year. First up, White Company Candle. I just love getting gifted candles they're just something that you use all year round aren't they this is a new one that i actually bought from the white company i have taken it out of its packaging mm. but it's not been burned yet this is the scent fireside um i do love to receive a little winter candle at christmas but i thought i would change it up this year and go for fireside mm. so good it's kind of like a smoky oody scent it smells gorgeous i am going to start burning it soon but it just looks too good not to do it but yeah i'm definitely going to start probably might start burning this like next week all the autumn vibes but yeah i absolutely love these candles you can get little um plates for them as well like little white ceramic plates so i'll leave those linked down below that's why i have mine on and i just have mine in the middle of a little reef which is also from the white company so i'll leave that link down below as well um but yeah i love a little candle as a gift you just cannot go wrong such an easy good present to buy and then another thing is i thought this would be a really really nice gift idea if you're wanting to do something like a little bit more personal personal or a little bit more sentimental maybe sentimental is the right word and that is a photo frame so this photo frame is actually from the white company um we actually bought this for us um because we wanted a picture of the wedding obviously in the apartment um but yeah this is a gorgeous frame from the white company they do so many different ones and then you can obviously get print out a picture and pop it in um and yeah this is a little oh that light's gonna reflect on you so yeah this is just one of our favorite photos from the wedding and yeah i just feel like that makes a really really nice sentimental gift so yeah those are the two homely bits now i've got kind of like stocking pieces and we were actually in need of stocking new stockings this year so i have got a couple here to share with you that i have bought because i didn't know which ones i wanted the first ones is more so these ones were 10 pounds from ms and these i thought these were not going to be as fluffy as what they are but these are like a really fluffy soft material yeah there's the price there they were 10 pounds from ms and um, what i quite liked about these is these were quite big so i'm going to be keeping one of these and then i've got two of these other ones but yeah i thought if you were in need of some new stockings these ones were a great little idea and then i got these buccal ones from anthropology which were more on the pricier side i think these were 40 pound each which is quite a lot but we'll be have we'll have these stockings forever now do you know what i mean they don't they don't go out of fashion i actually don't know where we had some gray initial stockings um which we've had since i've known jamie so 
eight, nine years? Long, long time. I have no idea where they've gone. I lost them since last Christmas. So we would use some new ones. And I love the buccal ones. They obviously go with my aesthetic. Um, I absolutely love them. They do have this thing on there. And I think I might remove it. It looks like I can remove the... I can just cut that out. I just don't know if that's necessary for me right now. Or do you think it's okay? Do you think it's a bit big? just don't think it really needed it but anyway I love them I'm going to be keeping them yeah they were 42 pounds these ones um so yeah these ones are gorge and also for like stocking presents I do put like mini little things in for me and Jamie but like not expensive things so I usually tend to buy like Jamie a really nice like luxury gift and then do like little things like socks and little small bits that he needs in like stocking fillers and stuff um and then obviously in terms of stocking fillers this little cup is a dream. I actually bought this two years ago. We have a J one as well. So this is a really good gift idea if you've got like a couple that you're not too sure what to get. This mug, like I said, I think is two years old. It goes through the dishwasher. It has literally not even aged. It's great. They still do it in anthrop anthropology now. Um, and it's just a great gift if yeah, if you just want not want to spend too much. Um, it's great for a stocking present and also great for like couples and things like that when have their initials on them. Um, and yeah, it's great. And it's a great size cup of tea mug, I think. It's perfect. I mean, I use it every single day. Ralphie. I swear he has to be in at least one video. Ralphie. Ralphie. Ralphie, come here. Come on, silly boy. And then another stocking idea is the White Company Cashmere so Shocks. Socks, I love these. These are so cozy. One thing to note is obviously they are a bed sock, so you can't really wear them in shoes because they will have like holes and stuff in them. I just wear these around the house. I am that person that always has cold feet. These are the only things that keep them warm. They are honestly great. I absolutely love them. I kind of want them in another colour this year because I feel like... I just wear this pair too much and I feel like I need another pair to wear. I actually don't know if you wash these. I don't think I've ever washed them. I mean, they don't smell. Maybe I have. They, mm, I've just looked at them now and they are a bit tatty on the bottom. They've got quite a lot of fluff and stuff from joggers and things like that. But yeah, these are a great little luxury gift. And these retail around £36. But let's hope that the white company do a Black Friday sale this year because I will be getting another pair of these for sure. And then another thing from the White Company, which is a great little stocking gift as well, or even just a normal gift. What hot water bottle? I actually got both of those items for Christmas a couple of years ago now. Um, this is great, especially for the colder months. It's a really, really nice hot water bottle. I think this is around £40, but I've had this for two years and it literally still looks brand new and I've used it a hell of a lot um yeah it's just great this one is like the taupe gray color i think they do also do beige and some other bits as well but yeah i thought that was a really really nice gift idea and again this is something that i wouldn't buy myself do you know what i mean and especially like yeah so i always feel like it's nice to buy things like that as gifts for people because you do use them a lot and you do really appreciate them you just wouldn't necessarily buy them for yourself like for me I would think I'd rather save that £40 and put them towards like a new pair of sunglasses or something like that. Um, so yeah, always really nice to receive as a gift. And then the last little gift idea, stocking idea, that I thought was a really nice idea was I've been loving minis of my products. Um, so I feel like, yeah, if you know products that people use, buy the mini versions of them because they're great. And you can also buy like a little container like this. This one's from Beauty Pie. Um, and then put them in. So for example, I've got a little mini Too Faced bronzer. And this bronzer is great, by the way. It's the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. A little mini mascara that I use. A little mini concealer. And then I've also popped the Dior lip oil in here because that is a great gift. Um, it is stunning. And also it comes really, really bougie packaged, packaged as well, obviously being from Dior. So yeah, another little great gift. But yeah, I just love mini, so I thought you could create like a little makeup bag full of like mini products that they use or something like that. And it's a really, really nice gift idea. And then another little stocking present is this Chanel mirror. I actually got gifted this for Christmas around six, seven years ago. And I still have it to this day. It is great. It comes in every single handbag with me and it's just a little compact mirror. And I just absolutely love it. So I think that 
is all of the gifts i hope i've not rambled on for too much there and hope this has given you a little bit of insight if you're looking to know what to ask for from for yourself or you're looking to buy for other people um i really hope this has given you some insight like i said go and check my gift guides out on the like to know app i will pop that down below as well and i shall see you all in sunday's video bye